New applicants are fast becoming impatient as they wait on the ministry to announce new fishing right holders and subsequently allocate quotas. The minister who implored on those who have applied for fishing rights to be patient says the process is reaching its tail end. Albert Kawana explained though that some fishing companies, particularly those that employ large numbers of people, have already been allocated with rights. Companies in question, he said, have been harvesting fish even though their fishing rights, strictly speaking, have expired since 2017. The minister says this is illegal as no company has the right to fish without proper authorization. We did this in phases. Phase one was to quickly uh, assess, process those applications which were pending for some time because these companies were employing people. You know, the old companies which reapplied. And they were told to reapply. And they had the right to reapply, contrary to what you read in the print media and the other electronic media. Due to a record number of applications received, the process, the minister says, has been lengthy. The fishing season pertaining to some popular fish species also ends in September. The minister explains that this also forms part of the reason why certain companies had to be granted rights faster. For heck, as I'm saying, the fishing season is coming to an end. So that's why as we process to say these ones uh, qualify for uh, what you call fishing rights, qualify for quota, we are granted in order to make sure we meet the deadline. Emil Seibep, NBC News, Ventuk.